I am a better, better writer than I am a speaker because I write academically. So I don't ever use the word very when I write, but I always use it when I speak. My speaking skills is so uh, juvenile compared to how I write. Like if you speak to me, you would never know that I, <laughs> you would never know like I write that way or if you if you read my writing you would never think that I speak this way which it, it, it's funny to me because it's like a different side of me I guess anyway I was overwhelmed emotionally and mentally so I needed to go and breathe and uh, so obviously I, I went to the mall my brother and uh, he went to see his friend and i went uh to look for creme brulee because it's on my bucket list so i was looking for creme brulee and there's this place um so this place is a cafe and it's cheaper than burger king but the quality of the food is far surpasses burger king the quality far surpasses burger king so I, I found the creme brulee there, but I also ate crumbed chicken and a cafe latte. And I'll show you the video of how uh, they serve it to you. It was really nice. Everything was really tasty and quality of food was amazing. And then I ate my creme brulee. So that was a bucket list thing that I've achieved. Um, it did help to clear my mind spending time alone like when i'm around people i pick up on their emotions emotional state so if they have extreme anxiety in the emotional state that they're in currently and if i'm around them i pick up on that and i become very anxious my heart beats out of control and I don't like being um, mentally or emotionally un unstable, even if it's for a minute, even though I'm around people and I pick up on that. So that's why I prefer to spend time alone, to assess where I am emotionally and to clear myself mentally so I can think. For me, thinking like thinking is not like thinking thinking <laughs> for me thinking is how i feel free and um and unblocked if you would say oh, i feel suffocated when i i'm not able to think and I've noticed that when I cannot think, it's because I've picked up on other people's emotions, emotional states that are negative. So that's why I like to spend time alone and clear everything and understand where my emotions are and deal with my emotions and understand that the emotions that I've picked up on from other people are not my own. It's theirs. So I cannot be clogged by theirs. I don't know if this makes any sense, but that's just how I understand it. And that's just how I feel it. And I don't want to feel other people's uh, emotions. So that's why I spend a lot of time by myself. I don't want to feel other people's emotions. I want to understand mine and... Um, deal with mine only and clear my mental state so i can be free to think i don't know if that makes sense but uh, uh that's just how i understand it excuse me see sleeping after eating doesn't allow you to digest properly <laughs> but that's fine that's fine I'm just going to rub my chest a little bit so I can um, digest. I'm really tired, but I do need to brush my hair. 
So what should we do? What should we do? <laughs> I need to brush my hair, but I'm really tired. <sighs> okay. I'll think about Can you hear that? It hurts. I don't like the way my eyes go. It looks very weird. So I have to look dead in the camera. Maybe that doesn't look weird. But then I can't see. Because if I do that, okay. I'm watching the camera. Now I'm watching myself. <laughs> see? My eyes look really funny. So I'm going to watch this part back. When I'm looking in the camera and see if my eyes look funny. Yeah, so... Yeah, so I said I'll rub my chest until it digests. It's hard being me. And do you hear the, the my throat issue? So I'm going to take whatever pills I need to take. Use my inhaler. I, oh, humidifier. I got that. So I put it in my room. So I'm going to see if it works. And hopefully it, it um helps to deal with my uh bron bronchial spasms. So... Take care of yourself. Clear your mental. Clear your mental. Clear your emotions. And think and be free.